Excuse me, you're obviously doing this week shopping. What percentage of the things you buy are chosen because you've seen them advertised on TV? Could you give me a conservative estimate? No, I always vote Labour. Anyway, I can call the telly up. That's so rubbish. I've got a mind of my own. I said the commercials have never influenced you. Well, only once when I needed a deodorant, I chose body mist. Oh, um, d d did it work? No, it missed my body. <laughs> Tense, nervous headache. Do you suffer from endless headaches? What do you think causes all these headaches? Well, it's all these blatant errors, isn't it? <laughs> do you always go for the brand names that you see advertised on television? Uh, uh, no, I didn't think so. No, not really. But then I'm awfully indecisive when I shop, and that's why I always bring my friends with me to help. Gwendolyn, can you reach the tea bags? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> I've been joined in the studio by Dr. Adrian Vinder, famous zoologist, expert on body language, and author of The Naked Ant Man, available from BBC Publications. Price five ninety-five. Dr. Vinder, you've made a searching study of ritual behaviour in TV commercials. Are your conclusions reassuring? Emphatically not. There is now scientific proof of a link between dandruff and schizophrenia. This is because many young women wash one half of their head in ordinary shampoo and the other half in another. In your book, you speak about public gullibility, the advertiser's use of euphemism. Uh, could you spell that out for us? Uh, e U P. I can not remember if it's an H or not. As more and more public figures seem prepared to lend themselves to endorsing products advertised on TV, one wonders how far this disturbing practice could escalate. <laughs> Could we have two first-class returns to Balmoral, please? That'll be £1,456, please, ma'am. We never carry cash. American Express? <laughs> That'll do nicely. aromatic herbs. Can you smell it, dear? Probably one of the corgis. <laughs> oh, look! We've been given an escort plane. It's Charles. Oh, do wave to him. Uh, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. 